Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, video on line charts. Continuing with the same uh, data set which I have uh, explained in uh, data overview uh, video. We would like to create a line chart on that data. Alright. As a general usage, line chart becomes a very useful tool especially when I am modeling time series data where I have to show some kind of uh, uh, data based on time as a factor. <coughs> Let's say uh, in this uh, in this example I would like to create a small query specifically targeted towards line chart. I'll say for the selected player Display the runs scored year wise. For each year, display the runs that he has scored. Alright, so here year wise, where there is a time kind of an angle in my data, there I would prefer to have a line chart. Though you can very well go with a column chart or a bar chart, but line actually shows some kind of a trending. So that is where uh, people uh, would depend, uh, turn towards uh, the usage of the line chart for this purpose. Now, year wise runs. I actually don't have a year specifically, though I have a date. And for all practical reasons, probably uh, we may require year at a later point for various calculation so I think it's better if we add one additional column containing the year which will uh, which will have the data only about uh, the year of the game which can be derived from the start date using an appropriate excel formula so I'll uh, actually create as a part of the workout I'll create uh, uh, a new column with uh, heading as year and I'll simply use a year formula equal to year and I'll give this particular date as input to it. So what it does it actually computes the year and the same thing I can uh, drag it till down or probably put it on the corner and do a simple double click. So this will uh, give me the year corresponding to each and every match that was played. Now with this information, I should be able to pull out the year wise runs scored by the same selected person. Let's say SR Tendulkar in this case, selected by the same person, how many runs have been uh, scored year wise. Alright, let's go back. In our data setting, I don't have the year wise run scored by this particular person. So I would uh, even create, set my data set from that perspective. So the data set for a line chart. I'll set my data set. Probably I'll call this as year and I'll call this as runs. And uh, uh, to start with, Probably I may not uh, have that level of dynamicness. So what I can uh, very well uh, do is to start with I will make this static. I will start having the data right from 1974, 1975 probably till the last. The basic line chart is what I am discussing right now. Then uh, slowly we will add a few more queries to make it more and more interactive and more and more dynamic. So right now I am maintaining the years up to 2012 manually and the runs. I can very well uh, find out uh, the number of uh, runs year wise using the same sum ifs function which we have used even for our column charts. So I will do the summation of the runs on two criteria. One the player name should match, two the year name should match. So based on these two, I'll try to compute the runs of this person. 
So let me use this formula sum ifs open bracket. Initially I want to I have to give what is the sum range which one I want to add up. So I would like to add up the C column then a comma the criteria range 1. The first criteria is the player criteria. So I'll choose the player column equate it to the name of the player who is selected. So I'll select to this one equate it to the name of the player who is selected then criteria range 2 which means my second criteria is based on the years so this one I would equate it to the year come to the data settings tab sheet and select the first year and before I drag it it's better to put a dollar for the C1 put dollar C dollar 1 or put your cursor on the formula bar and then press F4 so with this what we typically uh, observe is it will compute the number of runs this person has scored in 1974 0 because this person might not have start playing the game right from 1974. So this is one more area which at a later point I will try to address but for the time being what I am thinking is now when you drag it down yeah it shows yes in 1990 this person has scored 239 runs and probably even up to 2012 he is still playing. So this is the data that is there. Now my data is set year wise run scored by the person whom I have selected. Now if I change the name of the person obviously these numbers also would be changing. Probably if required we should go back here change the name of the person to someone else right let me select this person yes even all these existing graphs were changing and even when I come to this yes I see in 1992 something is there but after 2007 I am not able to see any so which means for the player whom I have selected the the year wise runs are coming up in my data now that data is there I can very well think of plotting a line chart. So what I would simply do is I'll select this entire area. To start with I'll select this entire area. Go into insert. Say a line chart. Go with a plain 2D line chart. So this is what that gets uh, computed. By default Excel actually treats all the number based variables on the y axis itself. So because the year is completely a number based variable it has actually plotted two things on y axis itself the years as well as runs whereas I wanted runs actually on the y axis but the years I wanted them on the x axis itself. So on the x axis right now it is showing some numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 it's, uh, it has created a serial number for each of the rows and based on that it has plotted but what I really wanted was the years to come on the x-axis which means I will do some kind of modification to this chart I right click on the chart go into select data I'll remove the runs from this y-axis because I don't want it the moment I remove it you see that the graph also has got uh, improved where that uh, the year has been removed from the list but on the x-axis also I require not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the area of x-axis. I don't need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the x-axis. Rather I would like to edit it and make them represent from 1990, 1974 to 2012. Alright, uh, then I say OK to it. So the chart gets uh, plotted and this is what is my line chart corresponding to this player. And as I told you even in my earlier charts, when I am using them as a part of the dashboard, I really don't need to display all these, try to make the graph more clear rather than trying to display all these stuff. Even the grid line I don't require and uh, yeah, the years may be required, probably what I can do is slightly reduce their font so that I can accommodate more in a small so probably keeping a 7 or 8 
as a font size would be sufficient enough and uh, and you can even uh, make it rotated text so that you can you can watch it much better and even for the y axis try to reduce the font so we can maintain that 7 could be the appropriate font and even you can take these values by right clicking on the format axis take them much closer to the axis so probably 10 or 5 should do the purpose these values also can come much closer to the axis and obviously I don't need such such a big chart so I can very well make it narrower but remember when you are trying to make this narrow a lot of information is getting uh, compromised right that you have to really evaluate and, uh, and one more uh, way to look at is you can think of expanding the graph to whatever extent possible in all directions so that you can try to maximize the usage looks like you cannot maximize it beyond this point right if required probably you can even uh, remove these uh, axis lines so you go to this format axis on the y axis and instead of tick mark anywhere you say none to the tick mark so that a little bit of space can still be saved not more than that right now what we can take is we can take this into our dashboard so we'll get back to our dashboard space yes let's try to create two or three let's try to bring it first then uh, depending on the area that we can allot for it we will try to adjust so I'll do a control X come to this dashboard sheet do a pasting of this yes one way is I can paste it uh, here I can press on to the alt key so that it can jump to the closest cell I can even do a slight uh, adjustment so that it comes into this space either I can keep it here or I should be able to keep it uh, here right but I prefer leaving it here itself yeah I'll leave this here and as usual I'll make this plot area I'll make it no fill right even select on the chart the chart area also I'll make it no fill and even the border on the chart I'll try to make it no line right and of course uh, we will try to make it a lot more uh, usable but as a plain blank line chart I can think of uh, doing this kind of a graph probably the color also if required I go to this uh, format data series and uh, the line color I can very well set it to the line of my choice so let's say I would like to choose a blue line a blue line on this background looks slightly better so I would like to go with it and yes I need to have one heading also in place that is what I would try to put up here by merging these cells and also putting an appropriate uh, color to the background all right I'll be putting this appropriate color here and I would simply say year wise 
codes. And if required, I'll put a small border across also to make sure that this is the area I am focusing on. Yeah, we'll do some kind of improvisations to this graph, but at this moment we are going with uh, depicting it like this, the year-wise performance of this player. So what I can just uh, think of is the moment I change the player, the graph has to get updated automatically. Right, as long as that is happening, I don't think we'll have any kind of issue in terms of looking at the data. But yes, so much of space is vacant here. Right, because this player might not have played so many uh, matches against so many countries. So that is where, uh, uh, in so many years, so that's where if we can make the graph more and more uh, usable, more and more, occupy as much of uh, graph space as possible, which means uh, instead of pointing it from 1974 to 2012, if I can have a mechanism to identify the year of his debut as well as the last match, in the year in which he has played his last match, I can dynamically change the graph according to the number of years this particular person has played. So we can try to make the graph as much interactive as possible by doing such kind of uh, analysis. So that is what uh, we should uh, look at as we start uh, preparing our uh, further graphs. I hope uh, you got uh, some level of clarity on the usage of the line graph, the formulas behind the construction of the data for the preparation of the line chart and uh, the formatting aspects of the line chart. If you have any further uh, queries uh, regarding the preparation of this uh, chart or regarding some advanced usages in this uh, chart, you can very well uh, reach us uh, on this phone number 919848012123 or you can even uh, send me an email. My name is Vamsidhar. You can mail me at vamsidhar at pacegurus.com. And you can even visit our website www.pacegurus.com for further updates regarding this training as well as the various other finance and analytics trainings which we offer. Thank you. Thanks a lot for listening to this uh, video. Thank you very much.